Welcome back to Ivandale. This is Meaningful Musings in Minecraft, and I am Josh, and with me back from a vacation is um, Nick. Hey, Nick. Hello, hello. Hey, so glad you're back. So thank, glad you're back. Cause I definitely missed it last last week. Yeah, it was it was rough without you, I'm telling you. Yeah, but you know, you, you did a good job. <sighs> I mean, you know, I know it's different without me, but you yeah. did a good job. Well, I appreciate that. All right, well, today, as far as building is here, we're going to work on this wall. Um, I had some input that said they, they thought that the cactus, the automated cactus farm over here was an eyesore. All right, let's so, just get this straight, because you saying that you had some comments. It was me. It, well, and my other, <clears throat> my other fan, <clears throat> my wife, said the same thing. So I just said, hey, we'll make a decorative wall. To, to block it and, and and I think this this, this wall looks good either way right yeah all right yeah. so but I decided after I put it up there I I didn't I wanted it out here closer partly because if we go to the other side and build a wall the other direction we have to have room for our horse farm because we don't want to we don't want to coop up our horses our horses have to have room to run right right so yeah. if we if we move the wall out to the edge over there we can move the wall out to the edge here and still have our horses have have room here. So I'm going to take and move this one forward while we while we discuss things today, and um, I, I probably won't give too much instruction about what I'm doing, but you guys can see pretty well um, my methods, what how lame they may be. So um, <clears throat> there probably won't be a whole lot of you know step by step instructions here, what's going on. So, but all right. Um, but I, the materials I am using here, we'll go over a little bit here, is I am using jungle wood logs for these upper, these up and down pillars, and then jungle wood um, planks for the insides there, um, sandstone for most of the rest of this, and sandstone stairs, sandstone slabs, and then I even have some um, jungle wood fence work in here for, for decorations. And... Um, I'm not sure you may be other accents here and there that we may do yet, but um, but that's the basis of it. And Nick ran off. Oh, yeah, I'm just, you know. <laughs> Hiding out. <laughs> yeah, I'm emptying some of my bags here. So um, we had talked about we're going to do a, we're going to have a banner for Ivandale, because um, mm -hmm. you can make banners in, in, here, in this world, which is fun. And as part of that, though, um, you know, since this is meaningful musings, and we we tend to talk about things, uh, spiritual, um, um, you know, about you know, spiritual things. So, um, that being said, we thought we'd talk about a little bit about um, our, as Christians our banner and what that means, and how unfortunately um, too many people have disregarded that and and tried to belittle the importance of it, <clears throat> and. Uh, you know, how we have to, you know, honestly, it's kind of our job to kind of reclaim that again. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, um, we're going to talk about that a little bit today. And, um, Nick did such a great job of, uh, bringing us the word last time that we're going to, I'm going to rely a little, a lot on him today on, on that regard. So, okay. All right. <laughs> But um, you know, I mean, first of all, I mean, what I mean, what's a banner stand for anyway? I mean, if someone just talks about a banner, you usually represent something, right? Whether uh, well, it, wh whether we're talking well, about okay, a whether we're talking about a Christian banner or whether we're talking about you know a banner on the side of a building, it means something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it, it definitely has a representation of something, mm -hmm. um, you know, whether good or bad or you know uh, whatever it may be. <clears throat> um, you know, and, you know, when you're talking about banners, you know, we usually think of, you know, like a physical thing, you know. Right. Um, I mean, it could be an actual banner that goes across <laughs> something that has some words on it, you know, that uh, has a, you know, has some sort of a logo on it, some sort of representation of a group you belong to, an organization you belong to. Um, you know, a company, whatever, whatever, whatever it may be. Um, but 
you know, there's so much stuff going on in the world right now. Um, and they're throwing up banners, if you will. You know, they're throwing up worldly things. But where's all the Christian or the God banner? Right. The Christ banner. Um, you know, one, you know, one thing, you know, that, that, that kind of grieves me, you know, especially, you know, now is, you know, in the, in the world, it's like, you know, Christians are, you know, and I know we had talked a couple episodes back about what a Christian is, you know, a follower, you know, a disciple. And my question is, where are they? Mm -hmm. Because to me, it seems like a lot of Christians, a lot of followers of Christ, a lot of disciples of Christ are hopping on all, on all these bandwagons mm -hmm. that are flying a different banner. Right. And clearly, if we read the Bible, read God's word, read what, you know, the scripture has to say, you know, especially about, especially about end times, end times, mm -hmm. you know, what's to come and what to expect. And I mean, it's all laid out in the Bible, you know. I mean, nobody knows everything, but you can read enough of the word to know what time it is. Right. And a lot of people, you know, they, they, oh, I don't want to hear about the end times. And, and I mean, really, I mean, pastors, preachers, you know, teachers, they really don't want to talk about it because it, frankly, it scares people. Yeah. But, it, but it's a reality. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in the Bible. And it's it's real. So, <clears throat> so when you had you know given the the topic of a banner and what it represents to you know to to us and it made me you know like I said it, it made me think and, and the first thing that I thought of you know was um was was a white flag um. Because we know that, you know, and, and again, you know, it's, it's, it's scripture, it's backed up by the Bible, you know, about the, about the washing, you know, when we get to heaven, um, you know, how we're washed clean and we, you know, and we're, we're white, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with white meaning and representing purity, wholeness. And so if you look at, at the Christian flag, if you will, um, it's mainly white. And so when you had said that to me, that's what I thought of. You know, and I'm like, okay, well, what what exactly does that mean to me? You know, what does that mean to me personally? You know, as as a disciple, as 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 a Christian, as a believer, as a follower, as, you know, um I mean, really to me, if you are representing something if you are holding a, a flag if you're holding a banner that means that, that that you are proud of whatever it is that that banner represents um you know i i belong to um the motor city radio club up here you know it's a, it's an amateur radio uh, you know organization mm -hmm. and we have we have a logo you know we have we have a banner you know, we have a representation. We have a, 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 a visual object, a physical, tangible object that we have. And every time we go out as a organization, we carry that with us. Mm -hmm. So take that into the church. You know, when we gather in, in, into the church, we're all supposed to be in agreement. We're all supposed to be one. We're all supposed to be able to carry, you know, that 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 banner that represents Christ and what He did for us. Um, but here's the deal: if you're carrying that or representing that on Sunday, Wednesday, what about the other days of the week? You know, what about Saturday? You know what are you what are you representing? What banner are you carrying? Right. You know. Um, I mean, and really, 
you know, speaking about, you know, the physical banners and representations, the highest banner, in my opinion, is Christ on the cross. When he was hung on a cross on Calvary, he was in a representation of a banner for us. Mm -hmm. You know, he was he was hung up on a pole, per se. You know, I mean, you know, think of all like a flagpole or you know some other sort of you know something. You usually raise a banner up. You have it up up high on something for people to to see. It's it, it it's on display. Right. I mean, my my Bible tells me that they hung him on a cross. I'm and I'm glad you 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 brought it to that. So, you know, <clears throat> nowadays you can go into any jewelry store and buy a piece of jewelry that has a cross on it. Absolutely. I mean, and how does that differ from what we're talking about? I mean, crosses are very popular, whether you're a religious person or not. Yep, they are. But just because you see someone carrying it, you know, having it around their neck or wherever it may be on a shirt, I mean, does that person really represent what they're carrying on them? Exactly. You know? Um <laughs> I mean, you know, you're 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 very very right, and I mean, you do. I mean, you're you're walking through the store, you know, and and you see someone that has a has a cross on, you know, around their neck, and you're like, oh, okay, you know, they you know they must believe in God, or you know they you know they must be you know a disciple, they must be a follower, they must be you know, um, but they they. The their image says that they could be, but their mouth says something totally different. Right. Um, so I mean, is that a, a misrepresentation of a banner? You know. Um, I mean, really. I mean, it kind of goes back to again what we were talking about a couple episodes ago. You know, the whole topic about, you know, being a follower, a disciple, you know, being a, a real Christian. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I mean, I think that's what it really all comes back to, you know, is that idea right there. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, I mean, um, <laughs> you know, and, and. You know, when Jesus was hanging up on a cross, Jesus was wasn't the only one on, on, on the cross. There was there was there was two other ones, one on his right and one on his left. Um, but Jesus was the banner that was displayed. You know, I mean, you know, the other two, they, you know, the Bible the Bible makes mention of them, but Jesus is is the one, obviously, you know, that was the main focus. Right. Yeah, and that's and that's another thing. You know, I've I've had people say before that you know even even people who understand that you know or, or look at it as hey, it's a Christian symbol, they they criticize like well you know that's not any different than displaying an electric chair because that's what it was. It was a it was a form of capital punishment. How dare you have something so bloody and something so offensive as as your symbol? Um, and the thing is, is I try to explain it, it was like without the shedding of Christ's blood, there we'd have nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. So. Yeah, yeah, we we would. Um, you know, and I mean, even, um, you know, the Apostle Paul, you know, he makes you know mention over over in over in uh, the current the Corinthian letter, you know, about about communion, you know, about the sacrifice. You know about you know the the bloodshed. You know taking that you know cup of wine or grape juice. Um, you know and 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 it being the representation of his blood. You know that was shed for our sins. You know and then of course you have you know the the cracker um, that represents you know his body. You know the um, the sacrifices though. You know and and you're and you're you're absolutely right. 
you know, we we would have nothing um, if it wasn't for the shedding of blood. Right. Um, you know, but again, people don't really want to hear about that. But the whole purpose of it is, is I mean, Christ had to go up on that cross and be a banner, if you will, for this entire world. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was that was his purpose. You know, that was I mean, that was his purpose was well, you know was to come down here so that we all may be saved. You know, we all may have a chance to get back up to him. Right. Good stuff. You know, I mean, you know, people talk about, you know, all the all the benefits and his grace and his mercy and his love and and, and all that stuff. Which I'm a big fan of. But oh, 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 absolutely. I mean, I mean, absolutely. That that is absolutely correct. It's you know, but what had to take place, right, for that grace? What had to take place for his, you know, for for his mercy? You know, because I mean, that was you know, we are saved. Because of that, because of his shedding of his blood, because of his death and, and resurrection, you know, so people, you know, people always want to talk about the good, the good, the good, and, and I do too. Mm-hmm. But you also have to keep in mind, though, what had to take place in order for his grace to be extended upon us. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, if you, if you go to all... Well, that, that is the grace. I mean, because because that's what we deserved was was what he took from took or took our place as absolutely exactly so because if you go to back to Old Testament, um, I mean, over in the, in the, in the in the book of Numbers, I don't I don't recall um the exact number, but hence the book Numbers, um, the earth swallowed up a bunch of people mm-hmm. because of what they weren't doing um so i i, I thank him for his grace <laughs> right right for his mercy because see the bible says that he is the same today tomorrow yesterday for i mean forever right you know so yeah it was the old testament you know and yes you know jesus came down died on the cross for our you know for our sins for our sake you know, um, but at the same time, um, what's what's keeping us here? You know what? You know what is keeping us alive? Right. Because I mean, I, I find it amazing how 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 it's like we can sustain our 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 body, you know, and live. When I look around me, and the fridge has to be, has to be plugged into a power source, <laughs> the oven has to be plugged into a power source, the lights have to have a power source. Okay, well, where's where's our power source? Right. Yeah, well, yeah, we get we get we get our energy and stuff from food, but we gotta be plugged into a power source. And if you haven't gotten the a power source by now from the conversation <laughs> you know it's god you know mm-hmm. it's 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 our lord and savior you know he you know died for us you know and and i mean that's why it's so important you know to thank him every every day for you know for waking us up right um you know and waking up and wearing <coughs> wearing that banner throughout your day in representation of him well, what's the Bible say? If we're ashamed of, of, of him, then he'll be ashamed of us and, and, and yeah. to his father. So I, I don't want to be there. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, yeah, I believe that's over in, in, in the book of Matthew. Um, you know, he, yeah, he, he talks about that. He says, you know, if, if you deny me before man, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll deny you before the father. Yeah. That's, that's a scary thought. Mm-hmm. That's a scary thought because um, over in the book of Matthew, you know, it, uh, it also talks about, um, I, I, I forget the exact scripture, but, um, you know, it Jesus talks about it. He says, you know, um, uh, you know, that on that day, 
you know, there's going to be, you know, those of you that, you know, prophesied in my name, healed my name, cast, you know, did all this stuff in my name, in Jesus' name. But he'll, he'll, he'll say, depart from me. I never knew you, you know, you workers of iniquity. And that's scary to me. Mm -hmm. But what that scripture is really saying is, because see, the scripture also says that the gifts, the giftings are without repentance. You know, meaning that, you know, from, from, from day one, you know, we were all put on this, on this earth with gifts, you know, and, and I mean, that's, that's a whole nother topic. But, uh, um, what that scripture is talking about over Matthew, though, about, you know, healing and, you know, casting and, you know, all, 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 all those gifts, if you will, that the Lord gave us, the gifts are without repentance, meaning that even though, you may not be living for Christ or living fully for Christ, that the gifts can still flow. They may not fall in the fullness of Christ, um, but they can still flow. So when you finally get up up there and the Lord says, okay, yeah, I, you know, you, yeah, you right. You, you did this, 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 and this in my name and I honored it, but you didn't really honor me. <laughs> You know, you kind of was just kind of doing your own thing, kind of for yourself. So I never really knew you, and that 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 scared me. And and I mean, and it, it it really keeps me in check and puts me puts me back in place because it's like, okay, you know, if I'm if I'm talking about the word, if I'm you know doing this and doing that, and you know. In Jesus' name. But you're doing it without Jesus himself. Does he really know me? Yeah. You know? So it's like, you know what? Because <laughs> yeah, the difference of doing things in, in Christ's yeah. names and doing it with him. You know, because there's, there's a lot of... And even well-meaning people out there that um, are trying to do things their own way instead of trying to do them, you know, with Christ. So, yeah. 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 Well, I I appreciate that, man. I mean, it's that's good stuff. So, um, I like I said, I appreciate any time you you chime in here. So, well, like I said, you know, I I appreciate the the opportunity. Yeah, you yeah. Know, the so, are you over here by this wall somewhere? Uh, yeah, I'm. About, I'll be back over there in just a second. Give me a moment here. Oh, you're fine. I just wanted you to take a look here, see what you thought. I, I made made a little bit different, some different stuff than what was on the other wall, but. <laughs> but. <There. coughs> see here. Okay. I moved the door down so it wasn't right in front of the cactus farm. <laughs> I also put these, lat these um, basically these lighter color lattice in front of the darker wood, and wanted to see how that kind of looked. If that was, if it clashed with the sandstone, or if it should just be removed. Here, let me let me take one off so you can see the difference with and without. Okay. Now, I guess if I had, maybe if I had, because there's really, like really dark oak. Maybe if this this back here was really dark oak. With that birch in front of it might be different, but I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't like the ladders in there. Um, they kind of they kind of clash with the sandstone, but I don't I don't think they're that bad. I mean, you know, it gives it it gives it a sort of like depth, if you will. Um, so what you're you're saying if the lattice was a darker wood? No, the wood behind it was darker. The wood behind it. Hmm. Maybe we should get a woman's opinion. We could we could do that. I mean, if only we had a woman on with us today. Well, <laughs> maybe we maybe we maybe we just don't have a woman handy to to, to put in her two cents worth. Uh huh. I like it darker. <laughs> and who would that be? Hey, are, are you going to introduce yourself? Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm Josh's wife, Jillian. 
Hello, Jillian. <laughs> <laughs> so you like this better without the fences in there? Yeah, I'm not a fan of fences. Okay. But it's not a it's not a fence because it's it, it's a lattice. Let me go get a piece of darker wood and stick it behind there and see what it sound what it looks like. So, folks, you know, so you don't have to see me run back and forth. We're going to just pause this. I'll be right back with some darker wood and let you guys see what that looks like. We will be right back. All right, and we're back. So here we've got a couple different panels here. Um, this is, uh, well, this is what we had before uh, with the, the jungle wood planks behind it with the birch fence in front. We tried the birch planks in back with the jungle wood fence in front. And I think the final consensus was the sandstone with the jungle wood fence in front. So I think that's what it's all going to end up being. What do you think about that, Nick? Sound good? Yeah, yeah. I do agree with that. All right. Well, folks, that's about going to wrap it up for today. This video has kind of went to as long as we'd like these for. And you guys get to see a little bit of how I did this wall. Um, I may or may not do any more accents, but... Um, uh, you know, we try to put, you know, use upside down stairs and um, slabs and all sorts of stuff to kind of put some accents into things, so it's not just a boring, straight up and down boring wall. So I'm going to do the same. Th we we plan to do the same thing going out the other direction in front of the horse pin, um, but I won't do all that on camera. So we'll probably do most of that off camera. And as always, everything we do, we need to do it as a representative of Christ, including playing Minecraft. Anything you got to want to add before we leave today, Nick? I have one question. Yes, sir. We did some treehouse a couple episodes ago. We did, didn't we? Yes, we did. Do you have any plans in the near future to uh, revisit that? We should. We should. Maybe we should. Maybe we'll do that next next episode. Go back over there and do a little more. Okay. Because we still we still have to figure out how we want our banner, so we we um we won't do that next episode anyway. We're still trying to figure out the right design for that, so maybe next time we'll we'll return to that treehouse. Okay, sounds good. All right. Well, if you don't have anything else, um, until next time, keep keep God first in everything you do. Take care now. See you. Bye.